Hello, my name is Kevin Hill. I am an Automation Solutions Architect at NetApp, and today we will show you how NetApp is making the cloud easier. In this video, we will show you how NetApp's workflow automation can create your secure multi-tenant cloud environment in minutes. The first thing we're going to do is we'll get into vCenter just to validate our environment. The only thing we're doing here is simply looking at what data stores currently exist our next step is to create our secure multi-tenant environment. This is where we will create a new NetApp vFiler, dedicate storage to that vFiler, perform all necessary network configurations, and initiate actions directly in vSphere for creating the new data stores, all with one click. To do this, all we have to do is to access our workflow automation system via any browser, log in with our credentials, select from the available workflows for our user ID, provide the inputs that the workflow requires, and then click Execute. And that's it. Now let's get into workflow automation. Here we're logging in with our credentials. And now we can see the workflows we are authorized to use. In this case, we can see both the sample and cloud workflows. Let's minimize samples for now. And let's select our NFS data store with vFiler support workflow. Since we're logged in as an operator role, we can't change the workflow, but we can click on execute. Here we are able to provide user inputs for this workflow. We can see all of the controllers available to us in our environment we can select an aggregate on one of the controllers selected, provide volume labels for our volumes, and identify a name for our vFiler. We also can put in different information for our network configuration settings. Here we are also able to see information from vSphere and selected clusters that are available to vSphere. We'll identify the number of data stores we'd like to create and the size. In this case, we'll select 100 gig. And we can select to execute now or choose a later date and time for execution. And now let's preview the workflow. With preview, we can validate what steps would process in our workflow and what storage objects might be created and what naming conventions would be used. This is a great way for us to validate what would happen before pressing execute. And we can also dive into further detail to ensure that our standards are being met. Now that we're satisfied, we can click execute to process the workflow. We will still go through planning, and then we will come through and process left to right and top to bottom. Now this is edited to be sped up, and this process in total took approximately six minutes end to end. So we're creating the storage objects, then getting into vSphere and creating the data stores. Now that the process has completed, let's go back to vSphere and validate our new storage objects have been created. And here we can see we now have our new naming conventions. As per the naming conventions we entered into the workflow. And remember, this was all processed with one click. If you'd like to find out more, please log into the Workflow Automations Community site. You can also access www.netup.com or feel free to access our Clouds on Command blog post at communities.netup.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.